And let's go now to the relationships window. Now you see you have a contacts table and you have a companies table. Well, how do I tell FileMaker that whenever I create a contact, I want it to assign it to a company? Well, we need to have a field in each table that we can link together. So let's go back to tables and we'll go to our contacts database and we're going to create a field called company and this is going to be a number field. Why? Well, if we go back and look at the company field, the company ID is a number, a uniquely generated number. Let's go back to the relationships tab. Now, each record for a contact that we create is going to have a company ID. Well, all we have to do is click this field and drag it to this one. Now these two tables are connected, they're linked by the primary key of the company and what's called a foreign key in the contacts table. Alright, let's click OK. Now FileMaker is going to create a layout which is a, basically a portal to view your information and it's going to create the first record automatically and assign the first value. Well, let's give this record some information. Okay, good. And we're not going to fill in this company field. And I'll tell you why in a second. Now we have another layout that FileMaker automatically created for us called Company. Let's go to the Companies table and let's create a new record. And this company is going to be called ABC Company. That's their phone number and their website is logically, right? Alright, now let's go back to the contacts layout and we now know that the company ID is 1. So if we go back here and we enter 1 in this field it doesn't look like anything happened but what we just said is this contact relates to the company ABC Co. How do we show that? Well, let's use layout mode. Layout mode is basically your design view of this page where you show your records. We're going to click this field button and draw a new field by dragging it. And we get a dialog which tells us which field from which table we want to view. We want to use this related company table that we created. And we want to display the company name and it's going to create a label for that field. Let's click OK. Stretch this out a little bit. And let's go back to browse mode. There you go. So what this means is if I go back to company and I create a new record and we call this one Now we have two records and you can go through them using these little buttons here. And let's go back to context. Let's say we change our mind or we find out that Joe Smith has been transferred to this other company. Well, we would just have to change the company ID. There you go. Now let's say we find out that we spelled it wrong and it's actually elementary incorporated. We go ahead and update that. Now you're probably thinking, oh boy, now I have to go to the company table and update that name. Well, let's take a look. No, we don't. Because FileMaker knows that you're editing the field from this table. So if you have 500 contacts linked to this company table, 
by changing it once you're going to alter it in all the records because these records are simply showing the field from that table they're not copying the information over alright let's go back to our database window and you can see that now that by entering an ID into the company field we link it to a certain company ID alright well hopefully that gave you a little bit more understanding about linking tables together and be sure to catch my next tutorial which will probably up and be up in less than a week and I'll be talking a little bit more about relational databases and the different methods of joining your information.